Hello, this is uh, Dan Baldwin, and today we're going to show you an SD-WAN actual test in an operating environment. Now, what is SD-WAN? SD-WAN is a box and a uh, software uh, convention that helps you take a couple of internet connections in general and make sure that all of your applications are stably running between these two separate internet connections. So if one internet connection goes down, you don't lose any uh, productivity because all of your apps are going to fail over to the other one. In addition, when you have two or more internet connections, your SD-WAN box should help you um, a traffic shape or, or bond together the internet connection. So you get the best of having two internet connections and not just having a connection that's always uh, there not doing anything. Now the SD-WAN device that we're using today is a VeloCloud box uh, provided by a uh, managed services provider, um, SpectraTel, for my client and they provide the managed SD-WAN box and also a managed firewall. Our internet today is provided by uh, Urban Communications there out of Chicago, a fixed wireless provider, do a pretty good job. And we have uh, one internet connection here that's 15 megs and another internet connection that's uh, 10 megs. And in our test, what we're going to do is we're going to take a giant uh, 25 gig file and see if we can uh, upload that and bond together a 10 meg uh, connection and a 15 meg connection to get a 25 connection, 25 meg connection upload because my uh, client, they upload very large files. Now, while we're uploading it, um, that big file sandwiched over two bonded connections, we're going to fail over one of the connections, then we'll restore it and fail over the other connection, restore it to make sure that that FTP file does not fail and we don't have to start that over again. And we're going to put one more requirement on it. We're going to have a phone call going at the same time. So you can see that the phone audio quality of the phone call does not suffer from maxing out a FTP uh, file upload and it doesn't fail either the phone call or the FTP test while we uh, fail over one or the other circuits. So let me show you the equipment that we're using. Not a whole lot to see, but we'll show it to you anyway. This is the uh, VeloCloud box that uh, you can see provided again by a SpectraTel, thanks a lot, and the Fortinet. Now you can do this uh, test without the firewall, but since my client uses a firewall in their environment and a firewall can take some uh, little bit of overhead, we're going to show that to you. Now the back of the box is where all the action is. Here's your two internet connections. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, okay. So there's a GE1 and GE2. We got the 15 megger on top and the 10 megger on the bottom. Then the uh, internet comes out, uh, the LAN port goes into the firewall, into the firewall here, and then it comes out and goes back into my laptop. Okay, so a pretty easy test to set up. You can uh, set this up, do a proof of concept, and uh, set this up yourself. Call SpectraTel or the um, managed service provider of your choice. Mostly carriers, a lot of carriers, and some managed service providers. They'll get a proof of concept box from VeloCloud, and you can do this yourself for your own self for your own client. All right. So without any further ado, we're going to launch the um, uh, FTP transfer. Okay. So you can see, not a whole lot going on on my two circuits. All right. But, and you can also see the throughput right here down way under one meg. So we'll go ahead and start the FTP transfer. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, so the transfer is now going. Now on the transfer, you can see it's a 2.8 meg megabits transfer, right? Now to get megabytes, you have to multiply that number times eight. So if you multiply that times eight, it's just under 25 megs. We'll also look at our throughput from our computer. 
Uh, this is under the task manager and you can see again I'm getting just under 24 megs total throughput. Now I'm getting that with a single file upload sandwiching together a 15 meg pipe and a 10 meg pipe. So you subtract out your overhead from your firewall because uh, you know deep packet inspection all that sort of thing. That's not too bad. Okay, It's a lot way more than 15 megs or 10 megs. All right, and then you can look at the orchestrator, and then you can see 15 megs on the one, 10 megs on the other, a nice steady streams here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the voice phone call. Uh, it's a BBC um, phone call I can dial. You can uh, use this test number yourself. And let me get it going. So the number. Seven one two seven seven zero nine four eight nine. Now you're going to hear me very well during this. So during the actual call, I'm going to uh, fail over these and then restore it. All right. Okay. So you hear my phone call ringing. Sixty Hamilton and Wigram. Okay. Loud, There's your live phone call, the BBC. Like Enjoy. Like quite a good system where you can do it independent. All right. So you can see I haven't lost my I transfer. And I haven't lost the file transfer. All right. To make sure I'm so on now the what I'm going to do is I'm going to fail over the I'm one going circuit. And get off at the other end as well. So you can combine the technology that they've got here with the technology you've Okay, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so I just lost my first circuit, and you can see, you can hear the audio call just blink out just for a second, but I didn't lose the call. All right, I'm down to just 10 megs. All right, but I haven't lost my transfer. All right, so now I'm going to restore circuit one. Antarctic expedition, and I've wandered into the Antarctic center here in Christchurch. Now I've restored circuit one. All right, we'll wait for this to come back. Uh, I'm all right, thank you. Uh, what do you see how long that takes? I was going to say, that could be an interesting concept for yeah. um, I would certainly, the 4D is not going to be much cop for you. No. Because it's going to be music. Yeah. There is a penguin talk, so you'll learn all about penguins at 3.30. And so you'll get to smell the penguins as well as hear all about them. <laughs> smell the penguins. Do they make noises, penguins? They do. They do make they? lots of noises. They're actually and Brits talk funny, huh? Okay. So now room. my circuit is restored. Is and I'm back to 15 like megs on the original. Storm. 10 megs on the other one. And I haven't lost the voice phone call. And I haven't lost the FTP. So now I'm going to fail the other one. I just stood outside this building in here in Christchurch. It's freezing out there. It is blinking freezing. It really is. And this is our spring. Okay, so I just failed over the 10 meg. All right, but I didn't lose the phone call. I haven't lost the FTP. No. Got the 15 meg on the main one, but I lost the 10. So now I'm going to restore it. Putting on a heavier jacket as advised. Okay. And we'll wait for that 10 meg to come back. And again, the most important thing is I haven't lost my two applications. When you have an internet failure, you don't want to lose your applications. And those two applications, again, are the voice phone call that you can still hear still going on and my file transfer. So I failed over one circuit, restored it, failed over the other circuit, restored it, and I have not lost my either one of my two applications. So you can do this with a lot of applications. All right. So I get both circuits back. Okay. And I'm coming back. Just about 24 megs. All right. And I. Go Still got my FTP you. going, yeah. so I'm going to kill the phone call. The We've got penguins that can swim at the same time. Okay, so the phone call survived my internet outage, uh, two internet outages actually, and my FTP survived. I'm still back at 15 and 10, and you can see it didn't reset, it didn't restart. 
So this is a successful test of just one way that your SD-WAN can be set up. All right, so uh, if you're an end user customer, an IT director, you can do this test. If you're a consultant, you can do this test for a consultant. Most of the SD-WAN box providers will provide a proof of concept box for the use. What they'll generally do is uh, basically sign, have you sign an order. Uh, so, uh, and then give you the SD-WAN box for 30 days. And then if you keep it past the 30 days, you just own the box. If you don't want to pay, you just return it. Uh, generally what you're going to want to do though, is you're going to talk to your consultant and tell them about the applications. Because again, it goes all back to the applications. What applications do you want to keep running uh, when you then survive uh, different sorts of uh, failures, all right? So you tell them, and they'll tell you which, I mean, because there's literally dozens of SD-WAN boxes, and the boxes can be come to you, rarely do you get it directly from the box provider. You'll get it through a managed services provider or your equipment VAR, or you'll get it through a carrier. More and more, the carriers, like uh, we use Spectratel, um, is a uh, reseller that, you know, it gives all your circuits for a multi-location business on a single bill, and then your reseller or carrier can provide the uh, SD-WAN box as a uh, monthly managed service. So talk to your consultant, talk to whoever it is that you get your managed services from about which one is right for your applications, because they're all a little bit different. Then get a box, try it out, and uh, hopefully your applications will survive if your box is properly programmed, no matter how many internet failures that you have, as long as you don't have a total failure of both your primary and your backup. This is Dan Baldwin. Thanks for uh, watching, and hopefully your SD-WAN uh, uh, proof of concepts go really well, just like this one did.